Hello all you YouTube watchers and woodland creatures. I'm out here in the forest today enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having. I realize it's been quite a while since I've done any sort of life update type video. And I figure right now is high time for me to update you guys on everything that's been going on with me lately. First things first, I just want to say in regards to me, I'm more of a private person. I don't really like to share a whole lot of details about my personal ongoings with everybody out there. I also kind of despise social media in all forms, so sometimes I find myself having to like force myself to use Instagram or whatever because, you know, you gotta stay in touch, you gotta make connections and all that kind of stuff. But I really just don't like it. I feel like it's all fake. Nobody is actually who they are on social media. And because of my aversion to social media and the internet in general, sometimes I feel like I get kind of estranged from you guys, you know? Like, I feel a little bit disconnected, which is not a good feeling. I don't like feeling like that because the connection between me and you guys who support me and watch and appreciate my content is such an important thing. It's so important that we have that, that bond. You know, so I believe my last life update video was when we were basically being forced out of my other house I was changing filming locations pretty frequently and then sometime in like October or November of two years ago I think it was now Wow I announced that I finally moved in to the studio that you guys are familiar with now But you may have noticed recently that the activity and the videos on my channel have been quite a bit more sparse recently To put it mildly the last month or so has been absolutely chaotic and insane So about halfway through January I was actually planning on moving out of the studio that you guys know now that you're familiar with not a forced move this time this was supposed to be by my own volition move and a pretty big move too like a few states away type move so literally the week that i was supposed to move my grandpa checked himself into the emergency room i'm going to spare you all the medical details and just sum it up as quickly as i can basically he had a really bad gallbladder infection which they thought would be easy to take care of it was not easy to take care of it ended up infecting his other organs his kidneys and liver and stuff like that which caused him to go into septic shock which septic shock has like a 70 percent mortality rate he came very close to being within that 70%. We spent a very grueling and nightmarish week in the ICU with him, but so, so thankfully they were able to get him some treatments that helped him and he was able to move to a regular room for about a week. And after two weeks in the hospital, they released him and now me and my mom are helping to take care of him as he recovers and gets better and that sort of thing. Obviously, I could go into all the details of why it was so hard and so stressful and all the things we had to go through, but it just is what it is. It sucked a lot, but we are just so thankful that he is still here and that he's doing exponentially better than he was in the hospital and that he's just getting better bit by bit every day. So that's what's been going on with me. That's where my efforts been focused recently because it's so important to be there for your family. My grandpa is the type of person who will always be there for everybody. He will give you the clothes off his back. And ultimately, my grandpa is one of the most important people in my entire life. He has formed so much of what you see this guy standing right before you here today. My grandpa actually got me my first ever laptop, which is the laptop that I still make music on and make videos on and do everything on to this day. So I literally would not even have this platform. I maybe would have never even started making music. You guys would never be seeing me on your screen here without my grandpa and you didn't even know it. So now you do. It's so hard to get the lighting right here. Sorry for the awful lighting that's outside for you. Anyways, while we're on the topic of babbling on about people that are important to me, gotta give a shout out to my mom, to my mommy, easily another one of the most incredible people that I know. My mom has raised five kids on her own. I have four younger siblings, working two different part-time jobs. My mom put herself through college to become a teacher. And this guy you see on your screen right here, I have to attribute even more so to my mom because my mom has shaped so much of who I am, of course, as well. So much of my music taste comes from my mom as well. I grew up listening to The Cure and The Smiths and Radiohead, Pixies, Nirvana, all that kind of stuff. I would have never been exposed to any of that music if it weren't for my mom. And now on top of all the other incredible things my mom does, she's also taking care of my grandpa, giving him his meds, changing all his dressings and getting him to appointments and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, I am helping her out, but she does so much of it. My mom never really likes to ask for help with anything, and she's kind of instilled that in me. It feels weird to me, but I do want to mention that there is a GoFundMe thing. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. I want to very adamantly mention that that GoFundMe is not for me at all. It's only for my mom, just to help with taking care of my grandpa and my little siblings and all the medical bills and that kind of crap. But I also will adamantly stress that you do not need to feel obligated at all to donate to that. It's totally not necessary. It's just an option that's there if you do want to help support. So yeah, any support in that regard is so, so greatly appreciated and truly means the world. All right, let's take a little bit of a walk now. So besides the fact that it's been physically hard to film videos and post content because of time and that kind of thing. It's also just been hard to find the motivation because when something like this is going on, it really puts everything into perspective. You, you don't really care about like, how many views did this video get? How many Instagram followers do I have when somebody you love is in the hospital? It's just, you know, changes your priorities about things a little bit. 
a little bit. But now that my grandpa is actually doing a little bit better, I'll be able to kind of get back into the content grind a little bit. Obviously, I'm not going to overexert myself or force myself to make content or anything, but I do have some really cool stuff planned. And rest assured that this year is going to be filled with a lot, a lot of really cool stuff. The main focus right now is just getting through this rough patch, and after that everything will be golden. Sometimes life is going to throw these situations at you just to make sure that you're not getting too comfortable, which is important. And I'm sure some of you are curious about the head shaving. Obviously, I am still sporting these luscious locks. The head shaving will still commence as promised, but you just gotta wait a little bit longer. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. I just wanted to give you guys this little life update. I wanna do better about just staying more in touch with you guys and giving you guys these little life updates from time to time because I think it is important that you guys see that I am, I am a real person too, believe it or not. I can do person stuff, like I can climb this tree right here. Maybe I can't, maybe I'm not a person, Never mind. No, I got it. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. I just destroyed part of the forest. Anyways, I am a real person. The point is, I'm a person too, and I go through stuff. I go through hard times just like anybody. Maybe some of you can even find some comfort in this video, knowing that, you know, your situation, whatever you're going through, you're not alone. There's plenty of other people out there who are going through tough times and going through similar things. Anyways, enough about me. Let me know what's been going on with you guys down in the comments below, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's extremely neutral doesn't matter just you know feel free to share if you want to but that is just about going to do it for me in this one here today really do love and appreciate all of you guys your support truly does mean the world to me just you guys watching the videos just leaving comments you know being there for me that's really all that matters that's all i could ever ask for so i hope to give some of that back to you guys in return so if you ever have anything that you're going through or dealing with never hesitate to reach out to me dms email whatever you can find to, however you can find to reach me but yeah enough rambling hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as you can enjoy a video like this but yeah love you guys thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time